told that Victoria's Secret models are angels. Well, if that's how heaven views beauty, I think I'd rather live a life of sin. Because despite contrary beliefs, I know that my muffin top is all that. And it's so obvious you want a piece of that. I thought that would make it so cliche. Six pack ads, I've never heard of them until this day. You see, this idea of beauty isn't what you think. These so called angels fill us with insecurity. We nag and we complain, no one will ever want to have sex with me, is what we explain. But what's sex got to do with it? Who's here to teach us that sex isn't about what you look like on the outside? It's about the feelings in your heart and where your relationship resides. Who's here to teach us not to skip meals to lose weight or not to feel bad about the junky food we just ate? We all need to remind ourselves of our beauty. Because someone close to me once said that you cannot fully love someone until you learn to love yourself. So who's here to teach us how to love? I think of my body just like anybody. And I'm too skinny. When I was younger, people used to call me a weenie and a sissy. It hurts, because words don't hurt has always been a lie. Just because I'm skinny doesn't mean I don't endure any type of pain and deny that will be a lie. The truth is, I always wanted to find a woman that was accept me still, knowing that it's hard to find someone that isn't shallow but real. You see, I go through the same thing as anybody. Too skinny or too fat, we just pray for, for some loving from somebody. But when it comes down to it, we really need to love ourselves. To stick it to your hidden confidence if you're in need of that help. Don't all stick it to a mirror because it doesn't see what's inside of you. It doesn't tell you that you're handsome or beautiful, does it? Every time I look in the mirror, it's telling me that I'm almost anorexic. With a family that feeds me well, this underweight shit just makes me feel sick. I, I don't have enough muscles to carry on the weight of this struggle. Finding beauty could be such a struggle. But I remind myself, I can find beauty if I can love me for me. I'm beautiful, and you are too. And if you don't believe me, just close your eyes and let your heart see. What is the image of beauty? I close my eyes. Shattered mirrors reflect everything that the windows to my soul see. I saw buckets of bleach I wanted to bathe in, and you were faces I wished I was made with. I seem to hate every feature about me that was created. So I stare in that mirror. They told me to be beautiful, you have to starve, to tan, to turn to buy endless amounts of product that would turn you into a walking imitation of everything you never wanted to be. Conform to your colonizer's culture. This is everything you want to be. Buy it, and you'll be beautiful. But it's okay, because studies show that all of this is absolute bullshit. So I hope to pick up the pieces. I cut my hands with the image of vanity. Cut the same hands that painted layers of socialization all over my face. The same hands that faced endless abuse from irons and fumes. The same hands that were the tool to life. But I saw beauty, and I gripped the shards harder. I gripped them until the blood from my hands soaked through every fashion magazine that told me I wasn't good enough, I wasn't pretty enough, that ultimately, I was never going to be beautiful. And I dyed those pages red. And with shaking hands, I molded the distorted words and made the pages tell me the truth story. And the truth is, beauty isn't only what you see. It sounds simple enough, but it took an epiphany for me to figure out that there is no epiphany. And beauty is when you put your soul into a jar and cradle it in your arms. Beauty is to give, to teach, and to be happy. To be beautiful is to fall completely and utterly in love with yourself. And so, for the first time, I looked in my mirror and saw something I never noticed before. We are, we are beautiful. beautiful. And you are too.